I'm Kim. And I'm Steph. And we are SFGGardens.com. Hi there, this is Kim with SFGGardens.com and we are here today with some volunteers at the community garden that is located at the Child's, Child's Academy, Child's Academy <laughs> which was formerly the Bonner Elementary School. And we're here with Andrew and Andrew heads up this project and um, as you can see there's lots of good things growing and we're going to jump into the garden and speak with Andrew so. The Child's Academy is a, it's a public charter school for English County Schools that focuses on providing a safe and healthy learning environment for both pregnant parents and teenagers, their children, and also children in the community as well. Well, do you want to show us around the garden? Sure. Okay. So what kind of melons are these? I honestly, we have no idea. They, uh, they volunteered, so we don't know if they're hybrids or what. Lufa. Oh, wow. Is, this is what the bath lufa is from it is a very fibrous plant that once it goes brown on the vine you can then just open it up peel the skin off and then you have a loofah a sponge or a scrubbing uh thing um unfortunately some of the packages were mismarked and so we have pole beans coming up in place of uh, bush bean <laughs> but we have uh i believe 40 rows planted and the goal is to have beans ready for the school for about Thanksgiving time. Uh, we've staggered the, this, the planting dates out by week, by uh, each section is a week after the other to make sure that we kind of have a, when, we, when they start to start to get ready, that we have them kind of continuously for a bit. Bonner Center Community Garden is not your average garden. There are additional projects in the works. So um, how many people do you usually have turn out on a weekly basis? Uh, on a weekly basis, we usually have about a dozen. Um, we have stu we have uh, one of the local groups called a student. Well, mainly it's student groups called Food Not Bombs. Um, the Not Guy Daytona Beach people as well. And then we also have turnout from Bethune Bookman, Ember Riddle, and uh, Daytona State as well. In addition to a few community members as well who've taken an interest. Excellent. So it's I'm Omar Brown, um, A.K.A. Farmer Brown, and I uh, help out here at the Charles Academy Community Garden. I'm the co-founder of uh, Midtown Eco Village, which is a grassroots nonprofit organization, and we advocate healthy lifestyles and environmental sustainability. Bonner Center Community Garden is more than just a garden. We, uh, we converted the old basketball hoops and the blacktop into a functioning sundial, which uh, Jason, Off well, Pro Professor Jason Offberg from Rember Riddle helped design and do the uh, a lot of the calculations for it. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's a professor. This particular basketball court you see here had some very disheveled looking uh, basketball backboards unlike these nice ones over here these were falling apart they had no hoops on them and we decided well that'd be really cool I'd made a sundial over at the Lions Club <clears throat> that was about 16 feet by 10 feet and this particular um, basketball court is about 50 feet by 25 feet something like that so I realized we could cut off the, the disused uh, backboards and turn the uh, the poles into shadow casters. So these are called uh, gnomons in the language of sundials. These are the shadow casters. Uh, we worked with uh, Wes Winters of Green Winters Native Nursery up in Norman Beach. Uh, he sold us the, the the initial hive of the queen and everything, which I believe he obtained that from some of the uh, the orange blossom honey growers or honey farmers in the area that they produce queens for sale. Some of the beds we planted as native uh, wildflowers to give them something to, uh, something to pollinate. Well, we have the, the first big box in the bomb is uh, called the queen box or brood box. And that's mm -hmm. where the queen resides. Um, the, and the next one above it's called super, which has the cells that you are explicitly for harvesting honey. Uh, so far, they've been very, very productive this summer. <laughs> well, I want to ask you, Andrew, the question everybody else is thinking. How many times have you been stung? None. Uh, really? Yep. Uh, I mean, as long as you abide by the colors of avoiding black, yellow, and really bright colors around the hive, and as long as you don't attack the hive, you're fine. They don't like black, and they don't like blue. Do you have blue on? It's probably not advisable that you get too close. And I'm gonna, I'm not so what did you put inside the smoker? Pine needles normally, but today we use just some sticks and uh, some paper to get it started. And they've 
performed fantastically, very healthy, and we're looking to be able to harvest the honey in probably October. So how much honey do you think you'll get next month? Uh, that I do not know. I'm probably going to guess a gallon-ish. We did a nice job on it. Like uh, Wes said, we probably won't need to do anything till November. Wow, look at all that. What does the right. smoke do, sir? Relaxes, Relaxes them. Makes them makes it so that they don't like come and this thing you don't want to? Well This is the first time I wore a bee suit. Normally when he's smoking I don't have any fear, but you get bit coming out because they, they take the same path every time they leave and come back. So if you're not in the the flight pattern, you're not you're less apt to get bit in the first place. So do the bees build oh a honey? Oh my god! Oh my god! Do the bees build a honeycomb in there, or do you? We we start with a comb and then a cone, and then they fill it up. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, we use a part. Well, underneath it here, see the white? Mm -hmm. There's a white strip you put in here that's mm -hmm. like wax from beehives, mm -hmm. and then it gives them some foundation to start on. Wow. Your your allergies don't uh, don't affect. Can I have another much. piece? Nope. Oh my gosh! <laughs> right? That was so good. Okay, here's. So they make wow. the wax? Yep. Yeah. They actually make it. So do you so want you, me to try to... just give them a starter to start with. Oh. That's good stuff right there.